Hello everyone, Jackie Edwards here for Live at Lunchtime. Happy Monday. We're getting ever closer to the holiday period, so hopefully you're still getting stuff done and you haven't let the uh, holiday start slowing you down because this is one of the, for me, most important times of the year to uh, work on my business. So today we had our annual team meeting which was quite exciting as we've got a global team now. This is for my property management business, Jade Roomlets. So we've got a global team now um, with a couple of virtual assistants and um, my team here locally in Oxford. So we did it online using Zoom, which is um, like a great, it's like Skype, but a little bit more reliable. Um, yeah, so it lasted about an hour. And we basically went through my vision, or my partner and I, our vision for the company for 2017 going forward. So we've had a lot of changes in 2016. We've taken on a couple of new team members, um, quite a few new properties, and yeah, we've just been kind of moving things around, improving processes and systems. So this was just a really good way to get everybody all caught up and on the same page. Um, and uh, tell everyone our vision for the upcoming year. So we learned a lot when we were in Bali a couple of weeks ago. So that was what we based everything on. Sorry, I'm just going to pop open the slides I went through so that I can talk through with you what, what we covered. Um, because it's quite a good thing for you to sit down and work on in your business. Um, no matter what size your business is, whether it's just you or you've got a team, uh, the stuff that we covered at this meeting was quite high level, um, just sharing about the business. So what we did, um, first we went through kind of our core values. Now this is something that we have on our system. It's something that everybody kind of sees as part of the day-to-day -day part of the business. Um, but it's really important to have some core values in your business or ours. We started off with what were Anthony, my partner, and I, our kind of personal values that we wanted to see reflected in the company. So a lot of it is just about, for us, it's around ethics and communication um, and just how we wanted the kind of foundation of our business to be so that it met our values and we knew we would be happy with it. So then we had a... What we then we had basically a number of promises. So these are the things that we came up with while we were in Bali, and we talked a lot about um, making promises basically to all of our key stakeholders, and ex being able to explain to them and kind of generally in about one sentence what is really important that we're going to focus on for them in our business. So the first one is a promise to ourselves. This one for us was a little bit longer. And it was just, what are we promising ourselves as a team that we're going to do in this business? Or what is this, our business going to do? So for Jade Roomlets, it was a lot around um, providing a good level of service, making sure that we kind of went above and beyond what was expected of us for our tenants and for our landlords. So that was kind of our promise to ourselves, the way to make ourselves feel really good about the business, bring in some of our values and just have a high level explanation of what we're going to do and what means the most to us in our business. Um, next, we've got a promise to our tenants. This is kind of your promise to your customers. Um, for us, our promise, I'll share this one with you, is creating a community where everyone feels at home. So for us, that just means we are really going to focus over the next year on making sure we've got a community that our tenants feel comfortable and happy. Now, for you, this could be anything. So it's what do you want to promise to your customer that you are going to provide as a business? Then we've got a promise to our partners. Now, these are the people that we work with. So for us, we've got tradespeople and we've got employers because we work with kind of the local businesses So um, to help house their employees. So working with them... Um, how we're going to work with them to make sure that they're getting the best service for their employees and how we're going to work with our tradespeople to make sure that um, we've got the best relationship possible. So some promises there. Promises to our landlords. Um, you can also, we don't have this in ours, but so our landlords are like our investors. You can have 
for your investors, for your stakeholders, for your shareholders. Um, yeah, those kind of things as well. We've also got a promise about our systems. So what are we promising that our systems are going to do? So this is our systems and our processes. So again, this for us was about keeping it really simple and cutting out any unnecessary admin and processes. Then using all of those promises, we came up with five key conditions of success. So what do we need to do to make sure we can fulfill all of those promises? And I've assigned each one of those to a member on our team because you need to have accountability for everything to make sure that it's moving forward. So I've got five kind of key conditions of success. Again, they're reasonably high level and these aren't what my team members are going to be focusing on all the time. They still have um, normal day-to-day -day tasks, but these are what our overarching kind of principles are for the next kind of three months to a year. Then drawing, bringing that down a level, we've set KPIs against each one of those conditions of success. So for every kind of high level job somebody is going to be focusing on, they've got um, measurements basically. So what are their KPIs? For us it's, you know, reducing voids, reducing maintenance waiting time, uh, reducing maintenance cost, increasing our tenant happiness scores, and increasing our tenancy length. Um, we've decided to have a rhythm of review, so how are we going to review all of these things? So for our business, and I think this is another really important thing for everybody's business, I've talked about rhythm before, is making sure you've got a set schedule of when you are going to be reviewing things and what you're going to be reviewing. So I haven't been as good at this in the property business as I should be. So we've formally set up that every Monday morning we're going to have a meeting of the team. Again, just on Zoom because we're all based in different places. And we've got a couple of key things that we're going to be covering. So it should just be a 15 minute meeting um, where we're just going to be covering the key things about the business. So each person on the team has um, one thing that they're required to put together. Um, and we're just going to discuss, so for us it's looking at are you in flow, so talking about how we're feeling for the week, key things we did last week, this week, any barriers, anything that's stopping us. Then we're going to be talking about available and upcoming rooms, just to make sure we're all on the same page with what we're advertising and what viewings we're doing. We'll have an overall maintenance review, so we'll list out all of the maintenance items that are open right now and make sure everything's getting covered, make sure we aren't missing any. And we're going to go through some tenant feedback stories. And this is just where everybody is going to share one kind of tenant communication. So our tenants are our customers. And we want to make sure that we're remembering them in everything that we do because they're the main reason we're in business. So it's sharing kind of the good stories, the bad stories, the funny ones, um, and just kind of a little day-to-day -day, a little day-to-day -day story of something that happened in the team members interactions with the, the customers. A lot of us, especially in property management, we focus on those tenants that are really negative, so the whiny ones that have all the problems and all of the issues. Um, and it's really easy to get stuck in there. When we pull back and look at our overall business, we have mostly really, really happy tenants. There are always going to be a few that are complainers, and I feel like we tend to focus on them, whereas we need to pull it back and make sure we're looking at all of the good things we do just as part of our normal job for people. So I want my team to each come up with one interaction that they've had over the past week, whether it's, it is, it might be a complaint. So if it is a complaint, it wants to be something that's kind of recurring, that we need to highlight to the rest of the team. But ideally it's going to be just those little thank yous, a thank you that, oh, thank you so much for doing that so quickly or responding so quickly or helping me with this question. Um, or it's going to be a share because we do have tenants that do funny things from time to time. The one that I shared in our meeting this morning was actually, and it was from quite a while ago, but I, I just remembered it. So um, we had a tenant and he sent me a photo of the letter that he gave to the neighbors he was basically getting woken up every morning by the rooster that was living next door. So he wrote a really nice, polite little note to the neighbors, but it, saying, oh, he was really upset he kept w getting woken up by their rooster. Um, but at the end, he said, you know, if you don't sort this out, we are going to catch it, cook it, and eat it. And he had a little picture of a oven cooking a chicken in it. 
And so that just gave me a good chuckle. Those are the kinds of things we want to share as a team just so that we can stay connected with our customer. So yeah, we've got some funny stories. So funny things like that happen all throughout the month, but I don't feel like we capture them enough to kind of reflect on them and just make sure we're enjoying our job and connecting with the customer. We're also, sorry, internet went out. I'm back again. Um, we also went through some of the key figures. So a little bit of a finance review on past figures. So how have we done in the past couple of years? What are we projecting going forward? So these are just high level um, number of properties, number of tenants, which we've almost doubled um, in this past year. So it's been a really busy year. Um, kind of our profit, the cost of our voids and the cost of our maintenance. And then, yeah, we just talked a little bit about next steps and how we're going to really materialize these things. So we are, again, setting up regular weekly Monday meetings and what our KPIs are going to be for those and how we're going to report them. So overall, it was quite a good meeting and I really recommend that even if you don't have a team, you sit down and start thinking of some of these things in your business. So what are you promising to yourself and to the outside world? What does your business really stand for? How are you getting that across to people? And then how are you measuring the results of your business on a regular basis? So you can see growth so that you can make sure your company is giving you what you want out of it. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I am going back because we also had our board meeting yesterday. That was just Anthony and I, my business partner. And I'll tell you a little bit about that tomorrow, but we're kind of rearranging how we do those. So I need to update our board pack, but I'll share that with you tomorrow because it's another really good thing you should be doing. And I find that the month of December for me is a lot about um, planning and organization and getting ready for the next year. So it's reflecting on the past year and getting ready for the future. So I'll share some more tips with you about that tomorrow. Otherwise, have a wonderful Monday.